class and welcome back to the part 2 of our introduction in human anatomy and physiology with pathophysiology. So for our next topic here, we have anatomical position and directional terms. So the anatomical position refers to a person standing upright, tingin po dito sa screen, sa ating right side, with a face directed forward, upper limbs hanging to the sides, and then the palms of the hands facing forward. So here is the base position or the basis for directional terms. This is again the anatomical position. So our directional term will be on the basis of this position po. So for the directional terms, uh, always refer again to the anatomical position, that's the basis, regardless of the body's actual position. So here we have the following terminology. So number one is right and left. So the right part of your body and the left part. So very easy again, that's right and left. And then next natin here, we have superior and inferior. When we say superior, this means above or towards the head. Again, pag sinabi natin superior, again, it means above or towards the head. While inferior, when we say the term inferior, we are trying to denote below structures or those away from the head. So superior can also be termed as cranial and inferior is caudal. Again, superior above, inferior below. Next, anterior and posterior. Anterior po denotes front of the body, harapan. Again, anterior is front of the body, harap. Posterior is towards the back of the body or the back or sa likod. Again, anterior, front, harap. Posterior is back or likod. Again, anterior, harap. Posterior, likod. And then we also have synonymous terms with our anterior and posterior. Anterior po can also be termed as ventral. Again, anterior, ventral. And posterior or your back can also be referred to as the dorsal. Again, anterior, front, posterior, back, ventral, front, dorsal is also the back side. Next, proximal and distal. Proximal is a closer to the point of attachment. So, for example, if the point of the attachment is here in this part of your arms, so we can say that it is in proximity of this kind of area if it is closer to that area. In proximity, proximal. When we say distal, distal naman is farther from a point of attachment. Malayo. There is distance or distansya. So again, proximal, malapit, in proximity, closer to a point of attachment. And distal naman is farther from the point of attachment or there is a distance or malayo from a point of attachment. And then aside from that, we also have with regards to the midline of the body. The midline of the body is here. Tingin po dito. Here is the midline. So for the midline naman po, if it is lateral, it means it is Away from the midline. Again, lateral, away from the midline. Pag sinabi po naman natin na medial, it means toward the middle or the midline of your body. Again, here is the midline of your body. Dito po yan sa gitna ng katawan. Again, if it is away from the midline, lateral. If it is toward the midline, that's medial. And then aside from those terminologies, we also have superficial on the surface, of course, and then deep or malalim, away from the structures or internal structure. They are deep. So yan po yung mga important terminologies natin or anatomical terms. Again, wag natin kalimutan. Superior, above, inferior, below. Anterior or ventral is the front. Posterior or dorsal is at the back. Proximal is in close proximity or closer to a point of attachment, while distal is farther from a point of attachment. Again, lateral is away from the midline. Here is the midline. Pag malayo po dyan, palabas, lateral. If it is toward the midline, again, that's medial. And the superficial, again, at the surface, while deep is internal or malalim. So aside from the anatomical terms, we can also check 
for the planes of the body. Anatomical planes are imaginary lines that we can use to divide the human body from up, down, left, right, or front and back. So here we have the four types of major body planes or imaginary lines that we can use to divide your body. Here we have soft, S for sagittal, O for oblique, F for frontal, and T for transverse. Again, sagittal, oblique, frontal, transverse. So let's define each and every one of them. So we have here frontal, frontal or coronal plane. It is a vertical line that divides the body into the front and the rear halves. Basically, front and back. That is the frontal or coronal plane. Here is the frontal and coronal plane. Again, this will divide your body in the front and the back side, the anterior and posterior side. Next, sagittal or the lateral plane. The sagittal or lateral plane divides your body into the left and right side or left and right halves, not necessarily na nasa gitna. But again, the sagittal or lateral plane, left and right. Again, not necessarily in the middle. But if you will be doing the sagittal plane in the median, so dito, gitnang gitna, dividing the body into equal right and left halves, ang tawag na po doon is median plane. Again, sagittal or lateral plane will divide the body into the left and right side, not necessarily equal. But if you will be dividing talaga sa gitna, equal left and right side, median plane na po ang tawag doon. And then aside from that, ito po pala by the way ang ating sagittal plane, this one. Next po natin here is the transverse or the axial plane. The transverse or the axial plane is a horizontal plane that will divide your body into the upper and the lower sections. Ito po ang transverse or axial plane natin, this one. So again, superior sa taas and inferior below. This is the transverse plane. And then additional po natin na plane is the oblique plane. There is a plane that can literally be in of any type of angle as long as it is not horizontal or vertical. Basically, ang oblique plane is a lateral one by the side. So, kahit saan pwede po ang oblique plane natin as long as, again, it is not horizontal nor vertical. So, pwedeng pa side. It is lateral. So, yan po ang ating mga major body planes. Again, this is used to get imaginary lines para i-divide ang ating body. Sa front and back, in the frontal plane, the sagittal again is left and right, while the transverse is up and down. Again, and then for the oblique is for the lateral sides or nakatagilid. And then aside from planes, we also have different sections. Sections are done to reveal their internal structure. This is more on for histology for tissues. So sectioning. So, sectioning of this tissues po can uh, be used to visualize the internal structures of that particular organ or tissue. So, here we have sectioning longitudinal, a cut along the length. So, for example, here is your bone. You cut it in the length. So, that is longitudinal. The transverse or cross section cuts completely through the organ. So, this can be visualized like cutting a hot dog in round pieces. And then again, uh, the oblique one is a cut made diagonally across the long axis. Paside naman or slanted. So, again, here are the sections that we can do for your tissues to view their internal structure. Longitudinal is by length. The transverse or the cross section is cut through completely. And then the oblique is padiagonal or paslant. So those are the sections of the tissues. And then here we have also the three major body cavities located in the trunk area. So uh, this do not open to the outside of the body. This is found inside. We have the thoracic body cavity. Here is the thoracic cavity, something uh, with your lungs. Uh, Doon po banda sa rib cage. Surrounded by rib cage and it is separated from the abdominal cavity by the muscular diaphragm. And then po, we also have your abdominal cavity. Dito na mas may bandang sikmura or sa chan natin. This can contain your stomach, your liver, the spleen, the pancreas, and even your kidneys. 
And then the last body cavity, here we have your pelvic cavity, contains the urinary bladder. Ito po yung part na yun. Urinary bladder, uh, so certain part of the large intestine, as well as internal reproductive organs. So again, this is the three major body cavities in the ventral cavity or the trunk area. But take note, hindi lang po ito yung mga body cavities natin. We also have other body cavities in other parts of your body. So with that po, thank you for listening po to our very first lecture in Human Anatomy and Physiology. So if you have any more questions or clarifications, you can contact me in this email, lena.huko at lpu.edu.ph.